Hello and welcome back to uh, Teal Hyena Gaming. I'm Teal Hyena and this is The Long Dark. Uh, this is episode two. Last episode we flew Astrid up here to the Great Bear. We got in a plane crash, uh, lost Astrid, and then we made our way here to Grey Mother, who I think has a little more to say to us. We probably have a lot more to say to Oh, she's... Oh, I just noticed the fucking gunshot hole in the wall. Okay, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Mother, gray mother, here we go. Here. Um, needs us to get some shit for her. Check the gas station for more supplies. Stock gray mother's fridge with food. Fill gray mother's fire bin outside. Okay, we can do that. We'll do that and then we'll come back and... Uh, uh, I think this is... Where's the exit? I came around the corner. Oh, here is the house. Okay. Um, from what I know, there is some. From what I remember, at least, there is some wolves around here. I don't think they're like, like they kind of wander, wander around here. I think this is the gas station. Okay. Oh. Yep. Here we go. Open. Okay. I don't think there's any people in this village. Like everybody's gone. Milton Creek Union. Check the gas station for more. That doesn't tell me where the gas station is, though. But at least it's getting brighter. Oh. Yep, there's a wolf right over there. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I was wondering why the sound wasn't quite working. me making noise. Got a cat. Okay. Leaf bank. No, I don't want to leave quite yet. I'm sorry for the... for the, uh... low sound we... Uh, no sound or low audio we... Oh! Must be the key to the bank manager's house. I can always use more food. Yes, that's exactly what we're looking for. What was that? Empty. Okay. If we have to, we'll use this flare to get to scare off the wolf. Uh, let's check what the controls for the not controls key bindings. Shoot. Okay, that's better. We actually have sound now. Milton hidden cash note. Hey girl, that grumpy jerk at Oka, o Orca left the left the back door open, so I snuck in and took some stuff. I thought we might need it for when we get out of here. I can't wait to get over to the mainland with you, where we can finally be together for real. I will meet you there tomorrow night, like we planned. I st I stashed the stuff to the big near that big fallen tree 
in the marshy area behind St. Christopher's. You know, where we met that one time and drank your dad's contraband. Huh. Interesting. search fridge just okay that's open Ooh, cooking pot nice brain risk oh okay so I have too much shit on me oh, okay. okay okay um Let's actually go to Grey Mother's and we'll come back here after. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's drop some of this stuff off at, at Grey Mother's and warm up by the fire. Oh, I didn't see that before. <laughs> the uh, blood in front of grandmother's house. Um, is that just something that, okay, she's fine. She's here. Um, where am I supposed to put this stuff, grandmother? Oh, kitchen. Put that in there. Uh, we'll join. that okay do you have, like a cupboard I can put stuff into no okay that's okay Oh, come on. I kind of wish you would just let you put... Okay. Let's stand by the fire and... Yeah. Hey, grandmother. Um, and look up and... Let's stand by the fire and look at what we got. Um... I'm gonna do some harvesting of stuff, get my, uh, get my, uh, encumberment down, and then I'll be back. I forgot I can put the fire stuff outside in Granny's, in Grandmother's, uh, fire, oh, firewood, okay. Take it out once I put it in. Oops. Oh well. Do I have... Oh, I thought I didn't have enough. Back to uh, going through stuff. All right, now let's go for the gas station. Which I kind of had to look up a little bit on how, which way it was, because uh, I just did not want to go searching forever. Oh, I don't like this. Can I? Uh 
Okay. Yeah. Just gonna explore Granny's house a little bit. Oh, cool. No, I don't want to be really nosing through uh, <laughs> Granny's stuff. Gonna repair my uh, sleeping bag or my that so it. <sighs> gonna do it again. Cause that's gonna be helpful. Okay, it said I had an objective to fix my clothes. That, that shirt on, but I did not. Okay. Cool. I did the objective. <laughs> Oops, not what I wanted to click. There we go. Get some water in me. Drink. Okay. We'll see how it's look what it looks like outside because it was uh very bad out there earlier. Okay, that's better. Okay, so for what I understand the yeah, I lost the bridge. My like my, my mind is okay, so it was said it was across the other side from the bridge. So I did go the right way earlier, I just didn't go far enough. Maybe I did see it over here and just didn't even register I did? It's just likely. I am kind of blind. Oh my god, I did see it! I am just fucking blind. GG me. Gonna make sure there's no wolves. I don't think they would. They might. There is a wolf in town. They might put a wolf around here. I don't hear one and you can kind of hear them pretty far away. Okay. Oops, not the one I wanted. Let's go in the gas station. No cash. <laughs> ATM out. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean. Oh, hello. I was not expecting someone to be in here. 
I guess I should have. Here. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? He seems friendly enough. I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. Methuselah, I'm here eh? to witness the passing of an age. Hmm. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. Hmm. I haven't seen any come back. Oh, well, that's uh, nice. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world. Discarded. Left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way. But how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm. Power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? <laughs> My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Uh, looks like we're done talking here. Go safely. And good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. Okay, he's at least letting me just pillage as I please. Metal chair. Search register. Empty. St oh, storm lantern. <laughs> I'm just taking his shit, basically. Um. He doesn't seem to mind, so. Oh, is it? Oh, it's dark. I thought it was just. I thought something bad happened. Oops. No. Anything on the ground? It didn't look like there was anything. Oh, God. Um. Oh, that's nice. Yep, dog food. That's something we gotta take if we're gonna... No, I don't wanna do that. Good. Oh, hello, lag. Oh. 
General notice to Orca gas station, uh, gas locations on Great Bear Island. Uh, as we are no longer in position in a position to ensure adequate and timely supply deliveries from our mainland distribution centers, we regret to inform you that we must re reduce the frequency of our supply deliveries to once per quarter. As such, we are re uh, relaxing restrictions on using on using local suppliers. This applies to our remote locations only. All loca all Orca gas station gas <laughs> all Orca gas locations on the mainland must continue to source their merchandise from previously from approved providers. Huh. Oh, oh, I can I can take it. I guess. Uh, good. Ooh, energy drink. <laughs> Sorry, old man, for taking your all your shit. <sighs> Turkey. Oh no. Okay, that's helpful. Stop extinguishing, trying to extinguish the trash can. A trash can? <laughs> yes, extinguish the trash can. <laughs> Gotta love that it's just potable water in the trash can, not in the trash can, in the toilets. Uh, leave store. I'm not done here. In the mid 2000s, the or ongoing global epic history of the collapse part one. In the mid 2000s, the ongoing ep global epic the ongoing global economic crisis fueled by continued political instability in the U.S. and Europe contributing to increased, increasing vi vi validity in the financial markets led to the sudden catastrophic collapse of the Canadian and, in general, the North American banking system. This immediately rendered Canadian currency worthless, triggering superinflation in the U.S. dollar, and all trading, uh, all trade and economic activity promptly shifted to the Chinese one or cryptocurrencies, a uh, Bitcoin. Crippled uh, economically, uh, Canada was brought under the financial oversight of the Amer North American Economic Zone, which positioned Canada as a kind of uh, pr protectorate of the large of a larger U.S.-based econ economic bloc. From this point onward, the majority of economic activity became centralized on Canadians, Canadians, <laughs> Canadians, Canada's already densely urbanized population with small, smaller rural and remote communities being essentially cut off. Without a local economic lifeline, many of these communities had become dependent on, uh, on dependent on for their continued existence. Most rural, rural or remote communities became hollowed out as people fled to urban areas in search of greater economic stability. Huh. So that's like, that's, that's the reason for all of this? Is that what I'm understanding? Nope, oh, no, stop doing that.
Okay. I will be reading everything that I come across. So if you don't wanna if you don't wanna listen to me ramble about random things like that, uh, just just skip on through to the uh, just skip on through to the end of it because I, as I said, I will, I will be reading all of it off. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, uh, that's good. Let's head on back. off. Um, on the way I turned it off, I wanted to actually... Where are those? Actions. Refuel. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just... <laughs> okay, let's head back. Can I? I don't need this right now. I feel more- I feel safer with the gun out and I can see fairly well. Sorry if I- <laughs> if you- I- my- <sighs> Sorry if my voice just keeps wavering slightly. I- I am- I lean forward a bit to see my mouse and keyboard because my mic's in the way. So if my voice seems to like fade when I do this, I don't- I mean, sorry, I hope you can still hear me. Please don't tell me the wolf is now blocking the way. I don't hear it. I hear that owl coming from that direction. Yeah, he's still over that direction, I think. If it's anything like the previous game, or previous version of this game, I think once we do this for... Once we do this for Grandmother, I think she gives us her rifle, which will be nice. But, I could be wrong. I don't really want to take... Take a bunch of... Oh wait, let me go this way. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay, a bit more. Still a bit more. Return to Grandmother. We done did it, Grandmother. What? Okay. Have you been able to remember anything else about that night? Anything that might help me find my friend? I'm back in that night. A wind howling. Voices passing through town. I can hear them. Just outside the window. It's windy. But the voices carry. They are yelling. Her voice, is, it passes through town. She's running. She's alone, calling for help. But no one comes. Why didn't anyone help her? Yes. Why didn't they? They should have. They should have found her before it was too late. Anything else you can remember might help. They said 
Men came from the tunnel. What about the tunnel? The only way out of Milton. The only way through the mountains. It's the only way she could have gone. Oh yeah, let's see what else she got to say. What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I think I should have read I listened to all the of these first before going I out. Couldn't get them back. So that's a thing. Whoops. Voices. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. On the way into town, uh, there was an old man. Glasses, big beard, walking stick. He seemed uh, a little odd. Doesn't sound like anyone from Milton. Most of the elderly have gone. Or died. I'm the only one left. The only one from the old days. Before... You mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? The memories are gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. The old man outside of town, Methuselah, he said he'd seen other people walking towards Milton. Other outsiders? It's possible. Where would they be? Maybe my friend was with them. If they were outsiders, they might have stayed in the old schoolhouse. In the months after the quakes, people used to huddle there for the warmth of the school's old coal burner. Rare outsider coming through Milton might stay there the night. If your friend came through Milton, chances are she ended up there. Looks like we're done talking to her. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure I could have. Yeah, I could have just been like, oh, it's grandmother. That's where I came from. I think that's the radio shortwave tower. Tunnel. 
Yeah, I came from up this direction. Came up like this way. Came down to her. Oh, there's the Milton supply. St. Christopher's Church. So I need to make it past here. Alright, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, talking to Grandmother. Uh... Again, it seems to be the, the the end of each of the episodes seems to be talking to the Grey Mother. In the next episode, we'll get some more supplies from the nearby town or nearby houses. Maybe check out the um, the bank some more because I didn't quite go all the way in because uh, I was looking for the gas station, not it. <laughs> so then we'll head on down the road to the tunnel and see what the fuck's up with that. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day, um, night, whatever, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode.